Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Welcome to another one of our squad builders. And today, we're going to be going for around about 100,000 coin team in a 4 and 2 and 2 mainly built around Hulk and Lukaku. Really wanted to try those two out and see how they'd perform. But, I've used a lot of winger formations in previous squad builders and I felt like I should probably try something that I haven't done in a little while, which is a 4 one 2 one 2 team. This was my first team that I used on FIFA 16, mainly because it's really balanced and it does the job nicely. Now, if you do need to pick up some MSP or PSN codes, check out G2A.com, TBY3 will get you some money off at the checkout. Now, this video, I am going to be as honest as I always am, just letting you know how the players were, how the formation worked, and which ones I would recommend as I always would. So, defense-wise, we have got Danilo at right back. Thought he was brilliant. Really, really nice right back. Always enjoyed using him on FIFA's. Vermaelen wanted to be a striker. And it annoyed the hell out of me. I even changed his instructions to make sure he stayed back. It is usually anyway. But I was just checking. I know he has a high attacking work rate, so I should have expected it. But seriously, it was like an ultra high attacking work rate. It was unbelievable. It was so annoying. Alderbeard, I actually really liked. I thought he was very good. So much better than Vermaelen and it was just his attacking position for Marlon was just so annoying like I just wanted him to stay back and he wouldn't do it really frustrating Danny Rose was okay nothing except for just did his job I didn't really think a bad word about him just so he did absolutely fine Claudio Bravo was a very weird keeper for me so close range shots in the box probably ones that should have gone in he was exceptional at keeping out he made some monstrous saves. Long shots though, any shot outside the box, finesse shot, long shot, power shot, whatever shot, seemed to go in. It was like I didn't have a goalkeeper when it came to long shots. It was so frustrating, but very weird. So I'm not really sure what to think about that. Morales is our left mid. He was quite good. Nothing amazing. Kind of thought he'd be better. Witzel though, Witzel was very good. I was really impressed with how Witzel actually played. Really nice work rates, great height, very, very well-rounded card stats. Everything over 70 and a couple over 80. Really nice card. Can't really say anything bad about him at all. Then we have Hulk, and he really was the best player in this team. And I'd hope so for 43,000 coins. High attacking work rate, amazing strength, great pace and shooting. Really nice long shots as well, and four-star skills. He was very good. He was really, really nice. And... It's, it's good because the rest of the team, mainly this player here. So at center to attacking mid, we have Oscar. And I was so excited about using him because he's 16,000 coins. I was like, oh, you know, maybe maybe he's actually really good. His stats look decent, good pace, great passing, decent dribbling, four-star skills. I noticed his work rate. I was like, maybe it won't be that bad. It's more than that bad. Like, it is unbelievably horrific. So annoying. I have never used a center attacking mid in any FIFA ever that was as bad as Oscar for me. He has little to no playmaking ability, but it's really weird because when Oscar comes up against me, he's this attacking god and this playmaking machine. Didn't happen for me, so I don't really know what to think. We have Lukaku and Remy up front, both very tall. Lukaku has a high attacking work rate. Remy has a medium. So it actually works really well. They balance out quite nicely. They have this like staggered effect. Remy usually follows up Lukaku. And then I can pass one off to the other. It does work quite nicely. But I am going to be completely honest. I was really, really disappointed with this team. I was looking forward to it so much. On paper, it looks exceptional. I, I thought it looked like an amazing little team. Didn't happen. And it was pretty much down to Oscar. There was a couple of games. And I, I, I have never actually had this happen before. In a long time. Probably at some point in some FIFA's it has. But certainly not in FIFA 16. I had two games where I didn't have a single shot. Simply because I, I couldn't get the ball anywhere. There was there was no passing play. There was no players available. I don't know if it was just... To be fair, I was playing bad. My opponent in those two games was actually really, really good. But Oscar just didn't help the situation. He was so, so lackluster and nowhere. But I want to focus on some good points. Danilo was great. Really, really good. Witzel was phenomenal. And Hulk was really nice. Now, the strikers, they were actually really good. Once I got them into a good position, they could have a shot. Their finishing was really nice. Lukaku, much better than Remy. I would wholeheartedly recommend a team with Hulk, 
Vitzel and Lukaku. They were really nice. Vitzel was a great CDM. But, Oscar, for me personally, I'm going to avoid like the plague. I'm giving the team a 6.5 because I'm taking into consideration it's my play as well. And I do think there are some good points. Danilo was great. Hulk was great. Morales was okay. Lukaku was really awesome and Remy was pretty good as well. So there are some saving graces, but there are definitely some really poor players in here. For Marlon, I would avoid and Oscar, I would really, really avoid. Maybe Bravo as well because his goalkeeping was just a little bit weird. I found the whole long shot thing going in every single time very, very strange. 6.5 though, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave it a like and subscribe for some more from myself. But take care guys, have an amazing day and goodbye.